you're browsing through Amazon. You need to build a new PC. I need to buy a new PC. It has come the time to choose for your storage. You want an NVMe, of course. I want an NVMe. And you manage to find one terabyte of NVMe for just 80 euros. You add it to your shopping cart and you're ready to buy it, but stop! The NVMe you choose is a Gen 3 per 4, not a Gen 4x4. What does that even mean? I'll explain you the differences and which one should you buy right after the intro. NVMe, non-volatile memory express, is the latest and greatest kind of storage available for your PC. You may be more familiar with an hard disk, like this one. NVMe, which is this puppy right here, has the same objective as the hard disk. Store all your data in a non-volatile method, which means that files will be preserved even if there's no power, which is the opposite of your RAM which, as you turn off your PC, is completely deleted. Hard disks and NVMe's are like your grandmother in a racetrack versus using Bolt. They can both run, of course, but one will surely be immensely faster than the other. Your grandma won't have a chance, I'm sorry. but. Then, what is the difference between Gen 3 per 4 and Gen 4x4? Well, it's the connectivity, the bandwidth and the maximum speed they can access. Gen 3 memory can access up to 4 gigabytes of bandwidth in 4 different lanes, which is the number of lanes connected between the interface where you connect the SSD and your CPU. Gen 4 can access double the bandwidth, which means up to 8 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. And this speed difference translates into real-world measure advantages. To better give you an idea of the speed difference, I've run Crystal Disk Mark, a benchmark for storage devices, on both the Kingston KC2500 and the KC3000, which are Gen 3 respectively and Gen 4 devices. By the way, thanks Kingston for sending over these two awesome NVMe's. They're both excellent and reliable. We'll see the differences in just a minute. The results are pretty astonishing. The difference is almost three times. Wait, 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 wait. So, I ran the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark on the 64 gigs option, which is the default one, on the KC3000 which was empty at the time I did the benchmark and on the KC2500 which was a full and of course the results were biased. I re-ran them today with both drives a full and the results are still in favor of the KC3000 of course but the speed is twice as fast not five times as fast. It's the speed in reading 19.30 megabytes a second versus 17.33 megabytes a second and five and a half times the speed in writing 1241 versus 6821 you can easily feel these huge differences when working with heavy drives such as video recordings as I do the time needed to manage these files and import them into a video editor is significantly shorter Moving a random photographs uh, archive of 47.3 gigs in a Premiere project resulted in a 23 seconds import process using the KC3000 and a 36 seconds import process using the KC2500. About a 35% increase speed, which is impressive, especially if you need to manage such files on a daily basis. Let's now talk about the game launches and how much time it takes. Spoiler, in games it's not as astonishing as in other applications. I've ran three games, Valorant, I couldn't see any difference whatsoever. With both drives it took around 14 seconds to get to the game. Rainbow Six Siege about 50 seconds for the both drives, really here 
not any difference and Rocket League we saw a small difference but only one second so it's not so much 25 seconds for the Gen 3 and 24 seconds for the Gen 4 SSD NVMe well in gaming you won't see any measured difference since they're both so fast and games usually don't need to load a ton of huge files before loading what about prices then now you would expect me to say that Gen 3 is way cheaper than Gen 4 so only if you need that extra performance you should go with Gen 4 but no that is not the case because the price difference is almost inexistent the KC2500 1TB is around 150 euros while the KC3000 also 1TB is around 155 so it's a slight difference even for other brands the price difference is fairly similar even if a little bit more vast around between 100 and 150 euros for 1 terabyte of Gen 3 NVMe and between 120 to maximum 200 for Gen 4 If you have a motherboard and a CPU that supports Gen 4x4 go ahead and buy a Gen 4 NVMe but even if you don't have a compatible PC PCIe devices are retro compatible so you're going to future proof your new SSD you're, you will be able to use it, but you will lose some performances right now which you will gain once you upgrade to a new PC Thanks again to Kingston for sending over the KC2500 and the KC3000 You can find the links to purchase them in the description And thank you so much for sticking until the end of the video Leave a like, a comment and remember to subscribe And I'll see you in the next one Ciao